Psalm 115. This talks about the folly of worshipping idols. Idols are the work of men's hands. They have eyes, but they don't see. They have ears, but they don't hear. Those who make them will be like them. Yes, everyone who trusts in them. Israel trusts in Yahweh. That is not in the idols, but in God. Those who make idols become like them. Those who worship them, trust in them, and become like them. You become like that which you worship. You make idols, worship them, you will become like them, powerless, lacking any personality. And so it is. If you have as your idol some particular drug-addicted pop star, you will, in essence, become like that person. We become like what we worship. It is part of our human condition to want to worship. And we want to be part of something bigger than ourselves and to worship. It is actually in us to want to do that. And so, what are you going to worship? That becomes the key issue. Because you become like that which you worship. Those who make them will be like them. And this is said several times, actually, in, in the scriptures. So then, <laughs> idols are vanities. That's what they're called. If you glorify and worship vanity, empty things, you will become a vain and empty person. And actually, everything that there is in the world to worship is vanity, is empty. You worship God, you will become like him. If you worship and glorify the Lord Jesus as your hero, you will become like him. So this is where worship does not mean music, because not all of us are musical. Worship means to adore. It means that I love, I so respect this, and I want to be like that. I wish I could be like that, but I'm not. But I so love and respect this or that. Yeah, that is how we feel towards God and the Lord Jesus. Let them be your focus for worship, and you will become like them. And remember that we live in a world full of idols, full of vanities, that will make us like them if we worship them.